Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister off here. I'm playing in the Vintage Untap Open League again. I'm playing my Captain Crunch deck. This is a silly, silly combo deck. This involves using, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, Captain Sisse and Paradox Engine will be the first thing that she goes and gets. Paradox Engine, when I cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents I control. Well, we have a lot of non-land permanents that make mana, in addition to uh, Deathrite Shaman and Noble Hierarch. So cool, lots of mana dorks, mana rocks. And eventually we go and combo off. We have uh, Mox Opal. We'll first get Mox Amber, then get Mox Opal, then get like, Hope. And then by, th by then we should have enough mana to cast Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. And that's basically the combo. My opponent is on Landstill Sharknado Edition, which is an excellent name. This is a uh, silly deck. This is uh, Planeswalker Control, a little bit of that, of course. Uh, first one I've seen in a while that has Jace the Mind Sculptor and does not have uh, Oka, Thief of Crowns, but it's not in the colors here. We have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of spells, but most importantly, we have the enchantments. We scroll down just a bit, we see four standstill, and then you can use land creatures, yes, like field or creatures, like Field of the Dead and Mistress Factory, but you can also use Shark Typhoon. It can allow you to make sharks without casting the spell. Cycling is just an activated ability. So that's going to be fun to deal with. Uh, now as for me, this hand is weird. Remember I said that your combo first requires you, usually, to get Mox Amber and then Mox Opal? Yeah, well two of them are in hand, but I only have two artifacts, so I don't have the third to turn on Mox Opal. And I only have one land, and I have a high curve hand. To be fair though, this is a high curve deck. I can take my chances, but I am on the play here. Th here are my outs. If I get another artifact, and it's not named Paradox Engine, then <laughs> I can make mana off Mox Opal, and then I'd have one, two, three, and that would allow me to play uh, Narset, probably, is what, yo, I would definitely do Narset first. She needs to resolve, and then Kethys, and then we can go from there. Or I can find another land, and then I have two mana. Unfortunately, that's too risky. Uh, mull? Mullet? Draw first. Alright, let's see what I would have gotten. Okay, that was a that was an excellent mulligan. That would not have worked out. Okay, so we'll we'll try that again. Uh, put these back. All right, let's see. Mulligan and take me to seven. Okay, so this is this is fine. We have land. Oh, we still don't have a lot of mana, but we have land, mana, mana. Uh, but what's the one we put back? That's that's an interesting decision. As much as I would like to go for Teferi, and Teferi is honestly probably the right answer, uh, Captain Sisse does get the combo, but we're actually a little bit shy on mana to cast her. So I think I'm going to try to go on the Teferi... Yeah, but that's not a clock. I could put Time Walk back. You know, that would be interesting. So I'd have one, two, three mana. If I find a fourth, I can do Sisse, so we'll put Time Walk back. Uh, wait, I'm on the play. Oh, never mind. Uh, Cap. <laughs> Johnny Cap. Alright. Keep. And I think that Uncle Flacco just said he's keeping. There it is. Okay, cool. Keep. Alright, cool. I have to put one back. Alright, buddy. As much as I love you, bottom of the deck you go. Alright. Okay. You never know. Alright, cool. So, I do have to look at my opponent's list a little bit. Four Wastelands and a Strip... Well, of course, a Strip Mine. If they're running four Wastelands, they're running Strip Mine. Alright, so this deck has zero basics. Fine card. So we are absolutely not getting Bayou here. Uh, instead, we'll get one of our two Trops. We're about to be able to make the mana that we would get off of it anyway if this Noble Hierarch resolves. If Noble doesn't resolve and we get Wastelanded, we are just very, very dead. Alright, we'll see if that works. Alright, and pass turn. Alright, now I have a little, I have Force of Will back up, and this might end up working out. 
if I can find another mana source, and then get Captain Sisse to actually resolve, then we have a decent shot. Uh, no response. I'll just give him the no response. Sapphire into Recall. <laughs> oh, that's that hurts. I, I have to do it though, don't I? Thinking. I actually type it out. There is a command <laughs> that includes the ellipsis at the end. Um, so on the one hand, giving my opponent three random cards seems really bad. Uh, either way, I'm going to be down cards because of this. Oh, man. It's going to make it harder to resolve this Sisse. Oh, it's going to make it real hard, isn't it? I'm going to be down to one card, and they're going to be on six. Holy crap. Oh, this is going to suck. But we also kind of need this Sisse to resolve to, like, to win, to have a chance at winning. As much as it hurts, and this is the vast majority of the time the wrong thing to do, but giving my opponent three random cards, I think I'm going to be okay with it for now. I'll let them draw three. It means that they are extremely likely to be able to deal with this Captain Sisse and I only have one counterspell to, to work on them. This deck only has four Force of Will and Mental Misstep, and that's it. And if I play Teferi, I don't even have Force. Not that... I'm hoping not to have to play Teferi. Alright. We also would like to save Force of Will for Standstill, if, if at all possible. Because once Standstill resolves, uh, even if we're at parity on the board, the opponent will win. Uncle Flacco, Uncle Falco, will win. Oh yeah, I, I didn't say no response to the Moxborough. Oops. Alright, let's see what they have. Time walk. Just have it all, please. If it's time walk, it's watch it be standstill. Merchant Scroll. Interesting. Look at their list. Big thonk. Alright, so it can go get Ancestral Recall's gone. It's any blue instant, and of course they'll have to reveal it. Uh, Mental Misstep, Mystical Tutor, no. Force of Negation, Cryptic Command, Force of Will, Gush, Dig Through Time. That is a whole lot of excellent options. This would be a weird spot for me to say, you know what, Force of Will is fine here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. This is such a weird spot. Alright, and then this gets countered. If it gets countered, it may not be the end of the world. May, because if we find a mana source, we'll still have something we can use for Captain Sisse. Yeah. Weird line, I know. Not counting the recall is so now Ancestral Recall is three random cards. Uh, Merchant Scroll is one non random card. Alright, here we go. Crap. Crap. Uh... Poke. Well, we are in a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, um... Hmm. <laughs> Jeez. I can't even say that opening hand was... bad. The, the mulled hand. It was passable, but, you know, it's not where you want to be. Hmm. You know, I actually don't know... I wonder if there's a way to put more mana ramp in the deck. I'll tell you later. <laughs> the even saying, I'll tell you later, probably gives away, hey yo, dude, hold up counter magic. Also, what was the card? No, no, it's fine. 
I, I countered it. That's right. Ah. Uh... Yo. Boop. Fast turn. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're in this part of the game. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're not going to get a 20 turn clock in. Sneaking suspicion against the Sharknado deck. At some point, I am going to have to stop attacking. It was probably then, because if they cycle a shark, we're in trouble. All they have to do is just cycle a shark, and I am thoroughly done. I may or may not be on my A game. There is certainly a case for keeping three fairy out, and just letting that resolve instead. Depending on what they get, if they get counter magic with Merchant Scroll, that's fine. Um, if they get Dig Through Time, I'm in trouble. So, and, and I don't know what they would have gotten in that spot. Obviously Recall's gone, so that couldn't have been it. Force of Will and Force of Negation... Well, they, they wouldn't get Force of Negation because it's open deck list. They know what I have going on. So there is a 0% chance that that would have happened. Oh my god. Okay, well... <sighs> this is weird, because once again I'm giving up Force of Will, but... I have to now because they have a Mistress Factory. Uh oh. Alright. Yeah, if they if they had gotten Dig Through Time instead, I would have been thoroughly done, I believe. Oh, Cryptic Command! Yep, they they had the mana for it. That works. Counter draw. Oh! Oh! Got me. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. That is, that is indeed correct. Counter. Oh! Got me. Huh. Oh yeah, I, I do that too. I'm OCD with moving my lands. Although, in my case, I have to keep all the mocks in together. I have to keep the mana rocks together. Mocks in together, collectively mana rocks, da da da. We're just gonna pay for a. No! Uh oh. Is this Teferi? Narset. No, it can't be Narset. It is Teferi. Yup. Yeah, I, I have misplayed. I have misplayed pretty hard. Hmm. You know, there is a chance that they would have gotten Cryptic Command instead of Dig, which would have served a similar purpose. Bounce Draw, I suppose, is what it would have had to end up being. So you bounce to Fairy, and then you just draw a card and hope to be able to counter the next one. Which this deck is decently likely to be able to do. Yeah. Believe it or not, there was a time when I used to misread to Fairy Time Raveler as Reflector Mage, where I couldn't cast the spell again. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, obviously no response. <laughs> Alright. Crack it. <laughs> Yeah, I have to, so just for force them to crack it as soon as possible is generally how I like to do it. Just do what you have to do. Alright, see if this resolves. I have a sneaking suspicion it will not. This can get hit with mental misstep. Oh, no, we're, we're fine there. Alright, and then pass turn. Alright, so unfortunately this force of will is super dead anyway. If we can find a land, well not even just a land, if we can find 
a mana source on this coming turn, then before Teferi can get up to three, we can play Captain Sisse, hope to god it doesn't get countered, it will get countered, but <laughs> hope somehow, miraculously, it does not get countered. Alternatively, I could try to go in on Kin in here, but I don't have an outlet for it. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Dear God. <sighs> Noise. Yeah, that, that just loops standstills. Well, no, that's not what we're doing here. Shark. This is Shark Typhoon. No, it's Big Teferi. Oh yeah, Shark Typhoon is 6 mana. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Here's... You win 0% of the games where you concede. I will not concede yet. Ah, oh, they actually used the change phase to end. Excellent, excellent. This may actually be the first time that I've seen that done on here. Even when it would be appropriate. <laughs> Ashiok. Uh... Mmm. Whale. Uh, that doesn't actually get the job done. If somehow Ashiok resolves, I can exile Standstill. But we're not winning from that. Let's see. Uh, is there anything I could know? Alternatively, once again, we could try to use Kinnon, but we we need quite a bit of mana to get there. Ashiok. crack a -lackin. Cracking. Where did that come from? I'm from the south, so indeed I have. In, I am sure that I've heard that since forever. By the way, the standstill uh, trigger here is is a must. You must do that. So, since Hall of Heliod's generosity is tapped, if somehow Ashiok resolves, I can get rid of that particular standstill and keep them from looping it. Uh, since they only have two mana up, it would have to be some free counter magic, which is not to say that that would be hard from a force of will, force of negation deck. But I'm still going to make them have to do it. Still going to make them do it. While this is happening, while they're thinking, looking at sideboards, what do we have to bring in against the opponent? So the obvious answer is Gaddic Teague and Veil vale of Summer. Both of those would be excellent. Uh, Kataki's Wars Wage, no. Thorn, yes. Force of Vigor, no, because if you try to hit Standstill with it, it'll pop in response. It's weird to not bring in Forcible, but I can't really grind against them. Resolves. Let's see. Starts at 5. Uh, and then I guess target them. Yeah, they are in exactly zero worry of this actually hurting them. Alright, so they milled 4. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's two standstills. But excellence. And it doesn't actually make a bit of difference, but, you know, <laughs> there we go. So Mistress Factory hits Ashiok down to two. Ashiok does it again. Uh, and in the meantime, they can't search, because that matters. Holy crap, ten cards in hand. Ten stinking cards in hand. Also, if they ever just felt like it, they could exile some. Oh, if they if they see it, okay. So you exile with Teferi. Uh, not exile. You uh, put Noble Hierarch third from the top, and then I think at that point I just concede. Okay, they're doing it correctly. They're doing this first.
I hear Evangeline. She might be coming up in a bit. Oh, okay. She said, I love you both so much. We are going to have an Evangeline. Oh. She said, I love you more than space itself. That's a myth. <laughs> she loves space. She really loves outer space. <sighs> okay, so what are we doing here? In main phase two. What is the... Jeez. play now, but I can't help but say resolves. Oh, here she comes. Think? Yep, I think there's an Evangeline coming. I love you too. Are you coming in? You can if you would like. Okay. I am actually now done with this game. We're about to move to the next one. They just, uh, yeah, they they actually have me locked at this point. How are you? Good. Oh. This year to watch you do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. This year to watch you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for oh coming in. Now let's see. I ooh, what just happened? There we go. Uh, finish game and play another, I guess, is what we do. Oh, play another. There we go. Yeah. Uncle Falco won. <laughs> Keep his existing deck and open sideboard. Here we go. So we... Uh, you have your little butterfly. We have the cards I said I was going to bring in. Uh-oh, it's already stuck. It's already breaking on me. When it does that, I just have to refresh it. When I say breaking, I mean it clicks and just won't let go. Alright, scoop deck, go to sideboard. Let's try this again. Veil of Summer. <laughs> it's not you, it's this thing. Bringing all of these cards in. And then Thorn of Amethyst. Cards that we bring out. Cards that don't do much of anything to them. On the play, Ashiok's okay, but not really what we're looking for. For. We're looking for ways to tell our opponent no. <laughs> Basically. Uh, Ulamog is unnecessary, actually, believe it or not. If I had, I wish, this is one of those matchups when I wish I had Emrakul instead. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, ultimately. Actually, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, because the extra turn would be really good to have, really nice to have. Oh, I see. Oh, and there we go. Good job. <laughs> Despite doing something in that last matchup, I believe that I'm supposed to take out... Oh, you're showing them the, uh, yep. So, this is a tsunami meant to look like. And then I just folded it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the cards I'll be taking out is... <clears throat> the, the word is spelled F-B-L-T-H-P. And you remember how we sound out our words? F -b -l -f <clears throat> So, <laughs> is how I'm pronouncing that. And every time I do it, I feel like I spit across the room. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. The butterfly flitters in. Butterfly flitters in, yep. It's on top of your head. It's on top of my head? I'm how did here. that happen? You're gonna see him when you... Ew, oh, God! Him. Yeah, no, let's mull that. Oh, my God! That's terrible! That's a terrible hand! <laughs> no mana I can use. Let's try that again. Okay, that's keepable. It has three artifacts. Uh, it has Thalia and Deathright Shaman. I actually could, theoretically, just put down the... Uh, 
put down the bayou, but I can't do that because I need that for casting Captain Sisse. So the play here is Mox Ruby, Mana Vault, or uh, it's Bayou, Mox Thank Ruby, you give me a second please, I, uh, you twisted it, thank you, I need to think here, okay? Bayou, Mox Ruby, Ruby into Mana Vault, Mox Opal, Captain Sisse, and then, oh no, instead we could actually play Thalia first. Yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll do Thalia first, she'll be the test spell. Okay. Keep. I equipped it into your hair. You equipped it into my hair. Thank you. She equipped it into my hair, folks. Like we're playing Dark Souls. Oh my god! Put that on the bottom. Okay. So let's see what, if anything, here results. It's on your hair. It's on my hair. In your hair. I In my hair, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think the camera can quite see it. Can you turn your head? Okay, I probably didn't need to... It's so rare that Mox Ruby gets hit there. Alright. The Ruby is in your hair. Yeah. When you keep moving, the more it will fall out. And I did a perfect job in a perfect place for that. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. Alright, let's see if this Thalia resolves. If she does, I'll be a little bit surprised. <laughs> oh, she does! Thalia resolved! Look at this place. This is this card is a reference to Beautiful Joe. <laughs> oh, you haven't played that game yet. Evangeline, can you look please? Oh, they they can't see you. You're way off camera. Because remember I cut out the sides for this. Um ooh. That, yeah, I think they can maybe see you. Here, I'll scooch more this way. So that little sash, that pink sash on her, that's the same thing that Beautiful Joe wears. He's a character from a game where he gets thrown into the movies. That's that's basically the plot. That's the plot of the game. He gets thrown into the movies. No, they can see uh, for the ah. thing. All right, we're actually going to save this soul ring. Save this soul ring. Okay. As soon as you get done to the soul ring, White floating. So we actually can play the soul ring here. And we have oh wait a minute, we might have to. Yeah, we will have to. We will have to, unfortunately. Because we won't be able to cast Paradox Engine otherwise. Okay, so this is Mana Vault. Don't forget J. You have to pay one, and it will not untap. Yet. Okay. Okay. We may actually get to combo off! Hooray! Hiya! They actually made it into a water tiny ball. Now, they have Caracas. What's interesting here is that they can actually use Caracas here to bounce Thalia to fog them for a turn, and then use Caracas again on Captain Sisse. So that's the perfect land for this situation. And you'll notice Evangeline Caracas is only one of, so they had the perfect land for it. Oh, has shaken. The perfect land against my deck. <laughs> I don't have any white mana left to uh, cast it again. That's why I kept. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Sometimes I like to mess with people and do the Spanish haha. -ha. In the meantime, she's going to do my hair. Do I'm gonna do your hair? Well, that's what you're doing, right? So without the Thalia, actually, believe it or not, that might end up working better for me. Because I'll have one, two, three, oh, four, five. Oh, it's hanging! Oh, good. Please it's tap out. Please tap out. If I have five mana open, I can use Paradox Engine. Oh, I swear. It kind of looks like an earring, but I, t uh, but I attached <laughs> it to your hair. They can see my hand. They know what I, I can't do anything. Yeah, that's true. If this Paradox... Evangeline, look, please. If this Paradox Engine resolves... We are in business. 
Actually, no, it's not going to, because they're going to use Caracas on Captain Sisse before it comes back around to my turn. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Either way, it ties up one of their mana, I suppose. But yeah, I would be very surprised if they don't use Caracas to return Captain Sisse to my hand before letting me untap. <laughs> And this is what it works when I cover it. That's the same thing you did earlier. You made it into a tiny little wide. <laughs> but I made it differently, though. You put made... it into a different shape. I didn't put it into a different shape. I just made it inside different. Like you did like a different folding frosty. procedure. Yeah, I did a different folding procedure. Okay. Um, oh, and then we're going to return Sissy to hand. Sissy. Sissy. <laughs> She's not a sissy. Okay. Give me a second, please. Alright, we got there. Okay. Evangeline. I love you. Did you know that? <laughs> second Captain Sis say this does nothing. Okay, um, so things we can do. We probably have to use the Thalia here until we can get... I, I, Evangeline, I need to focus. Until we can get to the point where we can use both. Unfortunately, I don't have the white mana. I need white-white to be able to do both of them. So it's probably more important to do Thalia first. Force them to use the Caracas each turn. I know, Evangeline, I know. Hmm. I'm sorry. You are going to make that fall on me. Please don't do it. No, no, don't do that. I, I was ki I was not meaning please do that. I meant please don't do that. <laughs> All right, can you come here again, please? I'm actually off center so that you have some room. I'm trying to accommodate you. Oh. You're gonna spit all over my new computer. <laughs> no tickles, right? No tickles. Hey, don't eat your butterfly. <laughs> Not. Oh. Don't eat me. <laughs> no promises. No promises. I haven't seen any sideboard cards no yet. No promises. All right, let's see what this is. They spent two mana on it. Oh. Interesting. Hey. Okay. I have no cards in my graveyard. <laughs> Almost there. Uh, Evangeline, I'm gonna try to type. Hey! I'm on my shoulder. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to where I can do my thing. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh. Blip. I said blip. We found another land! Alright, I guess we're going to do both. We found that too, which is what they put on the deck, but I think we exploded it, so... Maybe. I think we exploded it because they put one of... because they put that on that deck, but we got one too. We blew it up? Yeah, I think we blew it up. I... <laughs> was it... Was it... <laughs> I'm reorganizing. Spring cleaning. Like this. Yep, like that. Helps it to fly and motorboat. So this can motorboat and fly. Yep, that's right. And when it goes to sleep, it bunches up in a little tiny ball. Okay. And it gets back up. Boom. Ooh. Going to hit them. Well, now they're not going to be able to hit Thalia and Captain Sisse, so they're probably going to have to do it to Captain Sisse every turn, which is not going to go great for them, I, I suspect. I suspect they know that, though. 2018. So this is what they would normally look like. Okay. Tiny body seed. 
to be a butterfly. That's right. It goes, well, it's not a seed when it starts out, because seeds are for plants. L eggs are for uh, animals. Eggs are for insects. Yep, they start out as eggs. There you go. We can pretend this is a seed. Though. Why? It's an egg and then a larva, and then it turns into a cocoon, or it becomes it forms a cocoon, and then butterfly. Oh my god, wasteland. Actually, no, that's fine. The one thing we would lose, of course, is Bayou. We would not have black mana, but that matters for. Three cards in the deck? Deathrite Shaman, uh, Kethis, and Leobolt. One of which we would miss. Uh oh. Stand still. Balance! Oh! Balance! Interesting! Nice. Gamble time. Mm hmm I would like to hang on to my black mana, so I'll keep that one around. Lose both my creatures. And they have to discard five cards and oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. You get back here. <laughs> yeah. You lose a land, not me. Oops. Oh, they went rest in peace. Yep, wait, you get one card in hand. I'm going to not look. You get to keep one card. Oh, they, they did. They did. Either I'm blind. Oh my goodness, it's rest in peace. No, it's not. There is rest in peace. Why? I don't know what just happened there. Well, they really wanted to gamble a farm on that. DOT. Blip. I said blip. Blip like a fox says. Just like the fox says. Blip, 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 blip. Toya, toya. Blip, 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 blip. Toya, toya. <laughs> What's the fox say? Blip, 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 blip. <laughs> yeah, that's not how they say it. That's not how they say it at all. But you did get one part, right? I did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I'm not part oh. you got right. I'll bet I know the part that I got right. What? Blip, 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 no. no. What does the fox say? Yes. Blip, 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 Okay. Um, I told Evangeline a long time ago that what the fox says is blip. <laughs> Which, you know, in retrospect. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh no. Now they have to they have to tie up their caracas every turn. Uh huh. At least you still have caracas after that. Let's see. Balance five cards in hand and a land. Two for seven. Jeez. <laughs> Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Okay, I'll be silly. I'll stop being silly. No, I won't. I will not stop being silly. Please. No promises. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Okay, I mean, this is fine. We can live with that. If it resolves. It should resolve. It's not really a matter of whether it resolves, it's whether it gets to stick around because of Caracas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy. Why on earth did I not get Tundra instead? 
Chewy Chi. Oh, sorry. Too much? Too much. Sorry, I was trying to do Chewy Chi. Oh, your arm? I'm sorry, you hurt your arm? It wasn't a push. Did it push up against your arm? It went somewhere. It went too high up. Did they? Oh, they shook it. It went too high up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please don't do chewy cheeks. Don't do chewy cheeks? No. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> no promises. No promises. I should have gotten a tundra. <laughs> well, I'm in trouble. Whale. We're gonna switch. You would like to switch? Uh huh. We go down with them. Oh. Oh, you're trying to get in my lap? Mm -hmm. I should probably wait, actually. This is weird. You normally want to pop the standstill as soon as possible, but I would like to try to spam as many of these things as I can. Unfortunately, that does give my opponent some time, and uh, they will eventually come out on top here. Or will they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I can find Ulamog... <laughs> Belts that. <laughs> um, yes? Evangeline, I didn't mean to get your uh, arm hurt. Sorry. Okay. Thank it you. Just oh. went too high. Yeah. <laughs> then you kick my knee. <laughs> hey. Oh, they passed. That was quick. Okay. Spring cleaning again. <laughs> Spring cleaning means I'm moving all my lands around. Okay. So, things I can do here. I'll actually wait. It may not quite be right, but I'll wait. But me wait, me want it. 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 Find card. This time, find the correct. Hello. Find the correct card, Jay. Got a tundra, as I was supposed to have done earlier. <laughs> okay. So we can fire off all of these, actually, can't we? So we have white, white, so we have the double white here. Yeah, this is interesting. We can actually sacrifice hope so that we can cast Captain Sisse if they don't see that line. We're going to give them a lot of cards, though, but we have to pop it sooner than later. Sooner than later. Love is gonna get ya sooner or later. Love is gonna. Okay, I'm I'm a jukebox now. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. All right. You're in, you're in the middle again. I am in the middle again. Hey, we want to be here too. Me want to be here? <laughs> what do you I mean want me to... want to be? I I see what you're saying. Right. Oh, see, I'm a little off center because I have to. Uh, crop the edges off. There we go. Now this is good. This is good. And since my arm is underneath your arm, I won't have to bring my arm up to touch. <laughs> Alright, they drew their cards. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you think it's funny. Oh. Crap. What? I don't have the ability to cast Kunaros as well. It's okay, uh, because this has black and white in the cost. Man, I am just paying for it. <laughs> I am not having a good day here. So then the correct one would have been... No, there wasn't a correct way, was there? Hmm. It's tough having to have black, white, black, white on the same turn. I can only make three instances. Four 
much stress that you can use there. That's right. And they have free, so and you have free. No point in I, I can get Captain Sisse back this turn actually. I can. I just thought of that. <laughs> Man. Distractions. I'm gonna throw you under the bus here. <laughs> I think you deserve I'm just kidding. Okay, so I can sacrifice this to go get Captain Sisse back from the yard this turn. Which I am strongly considering doing. Oh, hello. That was not what I meant to do. Sack. <laughs> yep, okay, they said yep. They said yep. They did. And for some reason, it's not popping up with Kethis's te or text. Exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until end of turn. Each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play that card from your graveyard. Cool. So I will exile you and you you know where this is going. And Captain Sisse will get returned to the hand. Thanks. <laughs> Not that Caracas will let me keep it. Alright, there we go. There we go. This is how I'm gonna do it. Yep, that's right. You just shown them. It doesn't really matter which one they bounce here, because they're bouncing the other one in sec. All right. Oh, oh, okay. Do we still have a spectator? Tina? No, we don't. Spectator. That's someone who's watching. They're spectating the match. We have you, that's for sure. We have the people on YouTube. But I was wondering if we had anyone doing it live. As the tickle whisper. I have, I have something to tell you. I bet I know what it is. Oh, that's you have to put more force into it, like. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry. It's all good. Oh, hello. <laughs> he moved back. Uh, oh, hi, Emery. Hey! Now that you do us so much good. Well, you know what I said about Ulamog earlier? Yeah, ignore that. That's not a thing anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we're not dead. But... We are in trouble. Yes, we are in trouble. We're, we'll start out with Emery so I can get two legends out this turn. Okay. Just now. <laughs> no doubt. I got it now. I see. It's like a small <laughs> cookie type. I see. Oh, let's see if this Emery resolves. Would you like to see how I made it? I would like to draw a card I could use. That would be really nice. Yes. So how I did this is I... Oh, <gasps> there's Paradox Engine. Right on time. I do <laughs> Not on time at all. I do this? Yeah. I'm not looking at you. I'm not right now. I'm sorry. Uh, hey. If 
feeling okay? I'm feeling like I'm probably going to lose this game, unfortunately. Besides that, what are your feelings? What are my feelings besides that? Yeah. My feelings are, oh no! Not that! Oh. Not that feelings. The Stronghold of Theros Light. Not those feelings, happy or sad feelings. Oh, happy or sad feelings? Yeah. Angry. Not really. I'm not actually feeling angry. I'm feeling I feel happy. silly. I feel happy. No. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm just losing. I'm getting stomped. <laughs> Come, here. Come here a little closer, please. That's it, guys. Sorry. So they've untapped, but they haven't drawn yet. Is it, isn't it their turn? Yes, it is their turn. They're thinking of what, if anything, they would like to do before they draw. See, they could use Hall of Heliod's Generosity to put Standstill back on top of their deck. And they would still be able to hold up Caracas. It wouldn't be a bad play. since Caracas would still be on bouncing duty. duty. I think I have enough mana for it though. Yeah, it's binary turns for now. This. Mm-hmm. Evangeline, that's the same thing you've shown me seven times now. No. Pikachu is going to give you a tail spike. <laughs> there we go. Didn't even look. Whoa! Uh, yo! Oh, they okay. They just shortcutted it. They showed it and then put it in their hand. That's weird. They didn't. They didn't let. Uh, oh, I see what they're doing. Oh, a turn. Off. Haha. Uh -huh. All right, whale. Narset. Pikachu is pretty. Pikachu is pretty. But Pikachu's about to fight. <laughs> Pikachu's about to fight. Why? Why are we fighting Pikachu? Pikachu. 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 I see. Pika 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 I have a sneaking suspicion that that's correct. Pikachu trying to talk to you? Mm-hmm. Hopefully for the last time. They're drawing so many cards. Added be taxing bro. Of course.
thinking. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting. Let's do it. There's Pikachu. Pika. We're actually playing Pokemon, the TCG. Pika. Pika. Yeah, that's what happens when they draw nine cards from that. What? <laughs> they get to counter my stuff. You counter your stuff? Countered my stuff, yep. They sure did. And they can keep doing that turn after turn after turn after turn after turn after turn. Uh, wait. What? Wait. What? No, no, not you. Not you. Yep. Pikachu is in my yard. Kuna Rose. Said nine. It happens. <laughs> At least, this time, it made no difference. And I caught myself. No idea what you just said. Pikachu, what? Pikachu writing on this. Writing? Yeah, I guess so. Pikachu! Oh. Pikachu. Eventually. What? Come here, please. Come here. Hey! <laughs> Pikachu! Alright, so we got we went through all that. Grass screen. Uh, what happened prior to this? Oh, I'll just give him the no response. Just let him know I'm ready to go. Alright, oh, rest in peace. Rip. There he goes. Oh, oops. Oh, my bad. I saw it in play. <laughs> well, the good news is we, yeah, we know what the cards were. Pika. The most recent ones. Pika. Do we? Yeah. It was a nice flower for that. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And the next one. I think that's right. I think I remember there being seven. Or was it eight? Would that have gotten exiled? Alright, I think we're good. <laughs> you are, you are very silly. <laughs> Why don't you just cast it anyway? I mean, I do have Kunaros in play. Not this turn. Not again. One, two, three. Yep, they have enough. Okay, so they can put. Yeah, an instant or sorcery. Yeesh.
All right. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Why did I have to play the legendary deck? Why did I have to play the janky legends deck? The world may never know. All right, please, Teferi. Please, Teferi. Please, that's time walk. I mean, okay. So basically... Okay. That does mean that Kunaros isn't going to get to attack. I should have attacked with Kunaros first. I literally did not notice the spell, the standstill in play. Evangeline, please let me focus, okay? Please, please stop, alright? I need to focus. You, I like when you're silly sometimes, but right now I really need to focus, okay? Okay? Alright. Because I, I just missed out on a little bit of damage. I don't think I would have won anyway, so it doesn't make a lot of difference. But, you know, still. Okay, selecting you to target. And then they can either bounce it, or they can cast swords to plowshares. Oh, they're going to bounce it to hand. Now I can get it into play, I suppose. Since they bounced it with Caracas anyway, it probably wouldn't have made any difference. What'd you say? It's the same thing. You've done it, you've shown it to me like eight times. It does lose a good bit of its novelty when it keeps coming up again and again. Like I'm rocking it. Mm -hmm. If I find a land here, depending on what it is, I might be able. If it's say a savanna, I might be able to try to go. Oh no, I. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I could do Kethis. So it sends his gradients five rounds. Uh, I could go Kethis into Kunaros, but that only lasts me for so long because they have Caracas and Swords to Plowshares. Also, I have no uh, strip mine in my deck because the mana is really tricky to make work. Hmm. This is really unfortunate. But take a gander at. Is it another one? Okay. Ah, Teferi. No! Shark Typhoon! Jeez. Sharknado 69, what's a good what's a good one for that? Uh There we go. That's what it is. Alright. I don't think we can get through this now, unfortunately. I we can keep one of our creatures because of mental misstep. If they fire off the swords to plowshares, but they won't. Cowards. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're just silly. Oh, even Paradox Engine. Okay. We don't have the mana to do anything with this Kethis. Force of Will, just to make a 5-5 shark. 
Why am I still playing? I've already lost the game. I lost the game quite a while ago. Swing one. The last attack I will make this entire game, in all likelihood. I'm going to bounce Kethis. Okay, so then they get to untap and do all kinds of silly stuff to me. All kinds of silly stuff. I am very thoroughly done this game. There is a bee outside of our room. Outside? Yeah, you can even hear it. Mm -hmm. I can't hear anymore. That's right. So I guess they're returning something to the top of their deck. I guess. Maybe. The only thing that can get me out of this spot, I think, is if Teferi resolves and can bounce Stony Silence. Then I would have enough mana that I could play at least one other spell, Captain Sissé. Ah, uh, yeah, they made a shark. Um, let me think. I can actually counter that. It only counters the Soul Guide Lantern. If they have Cryptic, I'm in trouble. Oh, no, they don't. Still, they have a shark. It's a flying shark. It's a shark getting shot out of a tornado like a cannon. <sighs> um, what just happened? I missed it. What? Oh, they cast Rest in Peace. Rekuskat Timpachi. I know that because of Assassin's Creed. Yep, theirs as well. There went Field of the Dead. I'm okay with that. Angela, you're not in trouble. You know that. Okay, good. Okay. Sometimes I worry. Uh, and then I'm gonna make you tickle. Hey, yeah. I saw it coming. Okay. <laughs> I just see it coming. Oh my goodness, these are not getting much better. Uh, just daddy's intuition, I guess. That's all. Yep, sure. All I can do at this point is just try to stave off the inevitable. <laughs> You are funny. You're funny. You're funny too. You're funny too. So if I find Teferi draw into Ulamog, I still wouldn't have enough mana right now, would I? Thank you for saying I'm funny. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so. You think so. <laughs> oh. Let's see. If I did, uh, Teferi would be three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would have enough. Good, good. There's another standstill. Uh oh. <coughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, to ferry to bounce Stony Silence, and then Ulamog. This is a one-two. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Well, so let's see if they cast Swords to Plowshares here. I know it's in their hand. Okay. 
let's see. Could you come up with it so that they can see more than this, just your hair? Oh! Why are sharks flying? <laughs> They are flying. <laughs> that is funny. It is. Flying sharks. See that tornado in the background? I like to think that it just picks up the sharks and just yeets them away. Just throws <laughs> them away. <laughs> Gaddick Teague, you are so ridiculously late. It is not even funny, dude. And I don't even have the white white. Mmm. 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 Moo. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> you know what I say to that? Moo! <laughs> Why? Just to be silly. <laughs> Might as well mix it up. Alright, so pop stand still. The actual reason for doing this is because hopefully they burn a counterspell on Kunaros so that I can get, if depending on if I find the right land, I can go Kethis Gaddictig. It's not actually going to make any difference at all because they can just use Source to Plowshares on Gaddictig and bounce Kethis. Um, might as well mix it. <laughs> it's appreciated. Um, you know, as you do. As you do. Alright, Force of Will. Force of will. What were you doing that for? Uh, exasperation. <laughs> deflated yay. <laughs> deflated bad. Yeah, aw. Oh, deflated yay means I'm not really into it. My heart's not into it. Alright, I passed the turn. They did the end of turn. We are just Dunskies. There is actual factual no card in our deck other than Teferi that can get me out of this spot. That is the only card that can save me here. If I find Teferi, bounce Stony Silence, and just happen to draw for no good reason, if I just happen to draw Oh my goodness. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> Just making two more one ones. Because why not? <laughs> I'm not I'm not winning this, but thank you. I have to love it. I'm stealing your laughing style now of <laughs> Stop! Oh, is that embarrassing? Mm. You just put a Pikachu down my shirt about 12 times. I'm just kidding. <laughs> GG. Uh, they got me. Aww, thank you. That was wild. I said car. Yeah. Oh, you have a wall. What a weird deck. What a weird deck. Yep. <laughs> what? You're one short. In game one, I was hoping, I was thinking you would get dig through time. So I pitched to fairy instead. Cryptic would also have messed me up hard too. I had Captain in hand 
So no other blue cards. Like you, it's just <laughs> only a lot. <laughs> they said that 2019 and 2020 were uh, messed up years. <laughs> Could we play again some other time? <laughs> Yeah, that would be neat. That would be neat. Oh! How do you sideboard? SB is sideboard. I'll show them my cards that came in. Let's see. Uh, no other cards right there. Well, let's look through. Two more Veil of Summer. Oh! Good grief. Good grief. Goodness grief. Goodness grief. Hello. Now, tell me I didn't have that many veil of I did. I had that many veils. Oh, nope, nope. There we go. We got it. Okay, well, that looks obnoxious, but that's how it works, I guess. Is that how many we have? Uh, yeah, I brought in five cards against my opponent. And I took out five cards as well. Including the easy, the funnest one to say, the most fun one to say. <laughs> That's its name. <laughs> okay. So it's pretty easy for my opponent to see which ones I took out and which ones came in. I had uh, Super Saiyan Force of Will. That's always what this will be to me. I know it's not like radiating around the character, but it's Super Saiyan Force of Will. Uh, and Ashiok <laughs> doing a, uh, a Shakespeare rendition. Alright, so we're looking at my opponent... What on earth? Narset, Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time. Those, yeah, those that makes sense for those coming out. And then Shark Typhoon, Cryptic Command. They took out a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Arcane Laboratory. <laughs> okay. Arcane Lab is the silliest tech, and I love it. It's unironically great now. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. Too many wizards spoil the spell, but too many spells spoil the wizard. Are you sure? <laughs> I guess. I guess if you dip your feet into a, a bunch of them. Supreme Verdict. I guess that's like shops hate that works on decks like mine, I suppose. <laughs> Jeez, Supreme Verdict. Because Paradoxical Outcome is still unrestricted. Yeah, my guess is that it will be for a while. We have a lot of, we have a lot more cards than they do. Yeah, you're right, we, we definitely do. They have two and we have yet to see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven all but them. We, we do. Oh, just cards in we play. Have well, you see, the cards that we have in play don't necessarily mean that we're winning. Unfortunately, the cards they had in play were more powerful than the ones that we had. So, even though we had more cards in play, like, for example, one card they had was shutting down every single one of my artifact cards. It's exactly the type of deck that would abuse Arcane Laboratory and Shark Typhoon. Uh, just make a standard deck and bring it. <laughs> to be honest, that versus <laughs> Ravager from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, that would be so silly. I would like to see it. Okay, my love. That's it for now, I guess. Well, 
someone needs to go to bed. Adios! I don't quite know. I mean, Goldfish already made standard bang that he's going to go get smart. <laughs> yeah, and I <laughs> went 4 0 with a modern deck here, so anything's possible. <laughs> Adios. Arrivederci. Oh my goodness. I already know that's wrong. Arrivederci. Yeah, that, there is no way that that's right. Alright. Let's see, how far off was I? It doesn't, it doesn't say on here. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Let me, let me look up how to spell that. Arrivederci. Uh, is it the second R right there? I was the second R! Oh no! That's what it was! Oh, Gak. What a legend. Alright, I I had a feeling... It, is that still not right? No, that's what it says here. Okay, I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> Adios, yeah, okay, what a legend. I should tell you the story one day, and you can tell your great-grandkids one day <laughs> of the idiot that brought a modern deck to Vintage and it worked. Good night, you two. Aw. Good night. <laughs> That's it for now, Evangeline. We will leave the game, make sure that they get the win. Flacco gets the win. And that's it. Alright, so take care, Magic Community. I, we, we will see you all later. Bye bye. Oh, wait, right here. We'll do our combo one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what, what's that? What's that? you, uh, more. There we go. There we go. Now they can see it. <laughs> it was a tilted down earlier. Love you, honey.